Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. Awesome. Awesome. That's great. And you? Oh, pretty good. Thanks for asking. Um, everything has been doing great. Um, a very busy day, but uh, very successful. I can say that it was a very successful day. So um, welcome, welcome you all. This is a great chance to, you know, to start part of the class today, especially because we're about to finish the second week. In, in every single class, what, what we do is has to be a kind of review of the uh, topics that we have studied. And also because um, this is like a little more, a little practice. It's a review because you have studied these topics before. And let's welcome to, hi, um, hi Joanna, how are you? Hi teacher, fine. I, I had a, a successful day too. Awesome. That's that's great to know that. So congratulations. So tomorrow mm -hmm. will be better. Tomorrow will be better, definitely. Oh. Sure. That was how we hope. And especially people love Fridays. Hi, Hector. How are you? Hi. How are you today? It's very every day better awesome okay so that's me that was su successful and jenny how's your nine going hi teacher good evening hello good evening good evening how are you Fine, a little tired. Oh, you have a you had a busy busy day. Yes, working a lot. Okay, yeah, yeah. There are some days that are very challenging, but well, a weekend is closer, so you know, wait a little bit more, and you know, you will have a weekend off. Yeah, uh, excellent. Hi, Dalila. Welcome to our English class today. How are you? How are you today? Uh, I am excellent. All right, thank you so much. Jose, Jose Daniel Chavez, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you today? Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Jennifer. Welcome. Thank you. Okay. Uh, who else is joining us? Also, don't forget to turn on the cameras. Uh, remember that it's a requirement from insofar that all of us have the cameras on. And also that when we see you, you can, well, write your name, complete name here. So we can see the names of all participants for this class today. So welcome you all guys. This is a great opportunity to start your class, you know, at night after a daily routine or different activities. I totally understand that most of the time we are kind of busy, but the effort make a difference. If we effort and we sacrifice and we just try, we will get a reward in the process. And what will be this reward? That you will speak English. That's one of the things that we need to get. Don't, for, don't forget about that. And focus about the goals we have for this process. To speak English, to practice, don't stop, to enhance vocabulary, listening, uh, different skills we have. Um, as all of us that we have studied English in the past, and uh, we have studied since the very beginning, learning vocabulary, 
practicing pronunciation. That was the process, and we learned in that way. So you're in the right in the right the right path, in the right way to maximize your English skills. That's one of the things. Well, um, we finished the second week. You see how hard and how fast the time is actually going. Um, miren cómo, cómo va de rápido la jornada. Ya estamos eh, culminando prácticamente la segunda semana. Y la ventaja es de que estamos teniendo pequeños reviews que nos van a servir para que los siguientes niveles ya vayamos desarrollando diferentes temas y mucho más avanzados y con más contenidos. Entonces, eh, Hector is requesting me about series. What series do you recommend to learn? I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, first, we had to look for uh, series that contain formal English because there are a lot of programs or uh, series that sometimes English is informal. Um, English, um, por ejemplo, hay música donde el inglés es muy informal, entonces no es recomendable, ya que pues nuestro inglés tiene que ser inglés académico. No inglés, como decimos, uh, on the streets. <laughs> no sé, inglés que sea informal donde existan slangs. So English has to be formal. There are great, great series. I mean, series or uh, TV shows that English is good. I recommend you to listen English news. Noticias en inglés. Um, hay muchos, muchos uh, channels. Um, no los puedo mencionar acá, pero, pero hay, hay muchas eh, radios o estaciones de televisión en inglés con noticias y el inglés es súper, súper formal. Es una buena estrategia para practicar. You know, listen a uh, formal English, academic English. So that's the way. Well, before that we start today with our class, I just want to ask you, what do you remember? What we started in the last class? Adjectives. The most Explain me a little bit more about that. If you remember the rules, please, I will be more than glad to listen to you. The five rules? Comparatives. Comparative and superlative. Okay, um, what is the first rule? What, what do you remember about the first rule? ¿Cuál sería la primera regla? With short adjectives, we add I Yes. Okay, so what kind of adjectives or how many syllables? For example, um adjective B. Um, add. <laughs> we add um, double G and E R bigger. Okay, does the rule when we had Consonant, vowel, consonant, right? When the adjective is very small, because the adjective is very small, we add um, an extra consonant, okay? That was the other rule. Um, what other rule do you remember? ¿Qué otras reglas teníamos, habíamos estudiado? When the adjective ends with a Y, we change the Y for an I and add ER at the end. Exactly. So, yes, that's right. That's okay. Congratulations for that. Uh, any other rules that, that you remember? The last one, when the yes. adjective is more, more uh, contain more, more syllables. I use more or more beautiful, or more intelligent. 
Okay, so that's mean that we use it when the adjectives uh, contain more than two syllables. And what happened with the irregular uh, adjectives? What do you remember about this? And what do you remember about the irregular syllab uh, adjectives? For example, for example, if I say good, what is the comparative of good? Better. better. And what, what is the comparative of less? Oh, I'm sorry. The, for example, what is the, the comparative of, for example, we say little? Less. Less, right? Yeah. That's okay. So there were some irregular adjectives. So we don't add ER or we don't add more because it has uh, these kind of adjectives have different um, ways to change into uh, comparatives. That's right. And as part of the class today, we will have a short backup because we have some exercises to develop. So we're going to be like practicing a little bit more. But before, we will have a short speaking. And because we always um, participate with the speaking activities. So one of the calls we have here is that to have a review. So uh, Jenny, could you help me to read the general objective? Hello? Read teacher, read. Okay. Oh. Example, a uh, general object to, to have a review of the continuous study, 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 do during, no, bueno, no pronunciation, this present level. Okay, to have a review, okay. To have the review. Mm -hmm. Of the contest of study. Yeah, so it's gonna be a back half. It's, there's going to, we will have a backup of all the exercises. So we will do it together. And we have um, this question, but well, actually we are almost at, uh, well, in the middle of the, of this um, process, but it's important always to refresh also the goals that we have planned for this year because the year haven't, hasn't, haven't finished. So we, we, don't, we know that it hasn't, it hasn't finished. So what we had to do is we're gonna take a short time to, to have a review about the goals that we have already planned. For example, I have some plans that I just like, I needed to fulfill and I got some of them that I have uh, fulfilled. And uh, that's what we had to do. We will have a short time to think about the goals we have projected for this year. So perhaps at the end of this year, we have completed all of them or we are still in the process. So, in este momento, vamos a trabajar en, los, en las metas. Usted va a escribir qué metas okay. tiene, cuáles son aquellas proyecciones que, bueno, desde el inicio del año, pues, se propuso. Si alguna ya la logró, if you have achieved, en inglés sería achieve, si ya logró o todavía hay tiempo para hacerlo. If that's my case. So, I have some projects that I am I'm still working on that. So, for that reason, what I want you to do is to take a short time to um, get some ideas about it, and then we will socialize the goals. <clears throat> After you finished, um, we will uh, take uh, this time to work in a small pairs, and also we will uh, share with our groups the goals that we have, especially will help us to I don't know, be encouraged and don't stop the goals, right? Cuando nos proponemos algo es como que no hay que perder la visión. Están ahí, pero tenemos que ir más fuertes. Give a step up. Dar un paso adelante y tratar de lograrlo. So this is what we had, um, especially in our mind. So let's work right now. And then we will uh, have a short time to share what we have written. La palabra fulfill en inglés significa cumplir.
What do you say? Un paso adelante. A step forward or a step up? A step okay. forward or a step up? Thank you. Y esta la palabra fulfill, que significa realizar, cumplir, right? So, um, si hemos cumplido algunos, algunas metas, we have fulfilled some goals, that maybe we can uh, take into account that. Teacher, how do you say terminar or finalizar in English? Uh, you can say uh, conclude. You can say finished. You can say end up. Thank you. You're welcome.
Okay, almost ready or not yet? Ready. Yes, ready? Great, that's awesome. Yes. Okay, okay, perfect. So now we're going to uh, work in a small groups and um, we're going to um, socialize what goals we have right away, what goals we have in our mind to reach, to get, to fulfill. So we are 21 right away. So we're gonna be working with the, these groups. All right, so get ready and accept the invitation and practice English. Let's go. Hey, Karen. Hola, hola, teacher. Hi. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Recording current. I am student and backing a coaching. Okay. My principal objective is uh, speak English. <laughs> Uh, I'm not very easy. <laughs> uh, um, to to travel uh, with my family on in vacation the August and finally year uh, the best. Uh, possible. Okay, in my case, I hope to improve my English too, and especially my vocabulary and the grammar. And as I mentioned before, that I I hope to get a new job. For example, in a call center, but uh, I know that I have to learn more. Four. Okay, continue, uh, Jocelyn. Okay, es que como que interrumpieron, no sé. Uh, teacher, um, welcome, uh, teacher. Okay. <laughs> um, in, in four, I want to get 
promoting my job. Okay, excellent, very good. Thank you. Congratulations and your goals. Uh, and finish, teacher, and, and three participants finish. Okay, great job. Teacher, no había terminado de decir lo mismo, pero bueno. You can share here. Uh, comp compártalo. Share here. Uh, okay. It's finished to the program for English. And I... I work, work, work today. And after the work, and um, aprender learn learn uh, instrumental instrumentalist for a cirujano cirugi. surgery or surgery uh -huh. in september uh, i started a course mm, only that for now Okay, that's great. Thank you so much Thank for, you. for sharing us here your information. Okay, guys, uh, we had a, a good time like socializing about some goals and uh, that we have, you know, we hope that we can get it. Well, don't worry. I know that some of you have some problems with the internet connection, so we hope it can be solved. And uh, we're going to have a short backup about the activities and this is a little bit more practice. And we start uh, having a short backup related to the possessive pronounced. Remember that we have to see the, the statement and we have to select the appropriate um, possessive pronoun according to the context because the context is like giving us the, um, the structures that we can use. So I want you to check right now and also try to answer this exercise, I will give you three minutes and, and then we will start sharing together this information. For example, I have a bike, it's, um, so we can use an adjective, a uh, possessive pronoun that could help us. My. So you know My. how it is. My bike. Yeah, so you, you know that. Okay, uh, I give you three minutes to answer or less than that. I mean, in two minutes, you can do that. And then we start. Okay, let's see here the first one. I have a bike. It's okay. The answer is my my bike. Okay. Okay. Who wants to read the number two? Oh. 
read read the sentence read the sentence our I have mom in I have, have uh, oh Number two, sorry. Mom and I have a boat. It's our boat. Yes, boat. that's right, because that includes two people and that includes me. So we say our. Um, yes. Number three. The horse has an apple. It's your, uh, your apple. Mm. No. no, no, no. Is is What is the check? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm Apple. Um? Yes, I'm. Um, is Apple. It's. What is but it's yes it's apple because it's, apple. it's yes because it's a third person singular right so we are using it's apple yes that's right that's okay okay what about what about the next one number four uh, read the statement John and Max have a skateboard. It's their skateboard. It's their skateboard. It's there. Yeah, it's there. 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 Yes. There. That's correct because we're talking about uh, third persons in plural. And also we have the number, well, supposedly it has to be number five, but it says number six. You have a dog. <laughs> you have a dog. It's, you it's have a dog. dog. It's my dog. It's my dog. It's my dog. No, no, no. It's, your dog. Dog. Well, it's dog. You, you, you have, have a, dog. a dog. It's your dog. That's it's correct. Your dog. <laughs> because I'm talking about you, right? It's yes. Ah, you're, we're talking about you. Yeah. And the last one. Next time you what? have a dog. It's my. our our dad. Max, and you have a dad. No, Max. No. Is they, you have a it's your dog. It's there. 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 No, 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 no. Oh. Max, and you have a dog. It's your dog. Is your dog? Yes. It's your dog. Is your dog? Is your dog, including Max and you? I mean, you, ustedes, your, your, your dad. Yeah, we are including you in this um, sentence. That's correct. So you can see in the chat the um, three eats, four oh, yeah. there, five year, and six is your two. Okay. And that will be the answers for this one for the possessive pronouns. Let's continue with this one. Uh, exercise B fill out a correct possessive pronouns. And also, este es como un poquito más possessive. Es un possessive pronoun. So, mine. I have a dog. The dog is mine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Might. She has, she has, has a cat. The cat is her. Is her. Her. The cat is her. Is hair or hairs? Hair. Hairs. Hair. 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 Okay. Yes, because it's a possessive, because, well, is hers, es decir, es de ella, so we're talking about, yes. yeah, that's right, this is the, the possessive, and uh, number three, we have a card, the card, the card is our, as our, that car is there. Este carro es de ellos. Porque dice nosotros, de nosotros. Entonces sería. Oh. 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 De nosotros. Oh. De nosotros. Oh. Okay. Oh. That's right. 
They have a bike. That bike is. Their. Their. Okay. It's theirs, okay. Theirs. That's that's right. He has a key. That is his. 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 Uh -huh. Yes, his. Aha. Yes, because we're his. we're talking about masculine. Yes, we're talking about yes. a man. And yes. Okay. And also we have the number six. What is the number six? You have you a hat. That hat is, is yeah. yours. 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 It's yours. One second. So you have a hat that hat is yeah. is yours. Okay. Is yours. That's right. The possessive is mine, is yours, is his, is hers, it's ours, is yours, is theirs. The possessive. Okay, great job. So you can see in the chat also the exercise that we have developed. It's it definitely a piece of cake with that. Mix. Okay, now we're using um, as a backup the personal pronouns with possessive adjectives. And in this case, you can see in parentheses, sorry, you can see in parentheses what is the, the possessive adjective that we will use for this statement. So check first, and then we will answer. Check the statements first. I will give you two minutes. My book. This book. Where is this book? Mm. My book. Possessive adjectives is my book. Where is my, my book? Uh, where is my book? My book is. No, it's the world. Understand means libro there. My, my, to kill. Very key. Star. Our teacher. There. I can't. There. There. He goes to school with she, her. Okay, let's check. Uh, let's check. Um, where is using the possessive adjectives? Yes, simple. Is because in this case we're using a possessive adjective. Um, where is my book? It's mine. It's un possessive. Mm. Nos genera una posesión. Mm -hmm. Number two. There. I know. Oh, our teacher. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nuestro, Check. Nuestro profesor. Yes. Nuestro. Yeah, in the chat, we are updating this. Um, number, number three. Because she was with your brother? Her. Her brother. Ah, her brother. Mm -hmm. Number four. Her brother. 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 Her brother.
in the car factory. Number five. Your laptop is very expensive. Your laptop is very expensive. It's very expensive. Very expensive. Okay, great. His favorite hobby is tennis. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's tennis. His favorite. My husband and I want to go to Paris. My husband and I want to go to Paris. Paris. Okay, you want to go to Paris. Okay. That's okay. Number eight. We want to see its historical monuments. That's correct. The possessive for it in the third person. Yes, that's correct. That's her dog. Her dog. Laila likes her dog. Night. Her dog. Her dog. Let's see. Okay, that's okay. It's name. It's 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 name is Bobby. Okay. It's Bobby. Okay. Let's check the answer. Um, the third person. It's Bobby. Could be a dog. It's it's. All right, that's awesome. Yes. Let's try. Okay, let's see the next exercise so we could like have a, a backup of the exercises done. Let's continue with the next. In this case, what we had to do is we're going to be working in comparative. So we had to check the sentence and also we have to select a, the um, adjective in parentheses. And we will choose if we used um, ER or more, or if you use irregular adjectives. So for this, les voy a dar eh, tres minutos para que lo completen y luego lo desarrollamos. Así que todos eh, en silencio eh, tratando de contestar.
Okay, let's check the next one. And number one, who wants to help me with the number one for the comparatives? My sister thinks she's um, more intelligent, more intelligent than me, but I don't agree. Okay, excellent. Thank you. What about the number two? Avatar, Avatar is probably the worst, but the Father. worst film I've seen. Father. Father. No, what? because Bader is an irregular adjective. It's worse. Yes. Worse. And the superlative is the worst. worst. And number the three. Worst. What, what is, is the weather month of the year in England? Weather. Weather. What is the weather month of the year? Weather. Okay. Uh, number four. Do you think the Harry Potter movies are better than the books? Better than the books. Okay, so better is the irregular adjectives. Okay, great. Next. <laughs> Think who is more powerful person in your country? In esta, in esta oración 5 dice, who is the powerful person in your country? Um, aquí podría ser the most powerful. Es, tiene como un contexto un poquito más de superlativo. Para decir quién es el, la persona más poderosa. Entonces podríamos utilizar the most powerful, que es eh, el más poderoso. Este es un superlativo. Pero para hacer más, un comparativo, para hacer un comparativo, por ejemplo, podríamos decir more uh, powerful. Más poderoso. Number six. Teacher. Yes. And the number three is weather or where is? Um, el número tres eh, podría ser un superlativo también, como el cinco. Porque aquí nos está diciendo que cuál es el clima más eh, helado. Más digamos, húmedo. Perdón, más húmedo, perdón. Uh -huh. Yes. Lo podemos usar como un superlativo. Ok. That is the great. Number six, I think Men in Black was funnier than Men in Black 3. Mm -hmm. Funnier, yes. Funnier. Yes. Bader, Bader, no exi Bader no existe. Es worse. Worse. Number seven. Is older than Sandra Bullock? Older. Older. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number and the last one. John is the nicest person that I know. Este tiene un contexto de superlativo porque no está comparando a nadie. Sino que está diciendo que es la, la persona más genial que conozco. Entonces, John is the nicest. The nicest person I know. Es un superlativo. En este caso no sería un comparativo, sino que... Un, un superlativo porque, superlativo. porque no estamos utilizando el Dan y el Dan es, nos compara. Y no mm -hmm. hay otra... Cosa o en este caso persona con la que esté comparando. Con la que se está comparando. Ah, sino que está diciendo que él es la mejor o el más genial. Entonces Ajá, es okay. un superlativo. Okay. Vamos con, uh, eh, con la última parte de que está acá. 
So we have the last part here. We have uh, also using the comparative. So take this time. Le voy a dar dos minutitos para que lo completen y luego lo socializamos. Okay, let's check the 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 first one. So what could be the first one? I think that English films are more interesting than American ones. Than, yes or no? Than Americans American ones, okay? So we're using uh, more than two syllables and we add more. Yes, that's the way than the American ones, English films. Yes, um, okay, that's great. Also, we are, we are using the, the rules. Estamos utilizando las reglas que pues hemos estudiado para esa estructura. Uh, number, next one. Ashton. Read the sentence. George runs faster than Jim. So the comparative will be faster. More. Faster. Because it's a short adjective with one syllable. Yes, with just one syllable. And next. Mark. Living conditions are mm -hmm. our words, our words say they used to be worse and there used to be. Okay, so we have the word worst, right? Okay, great. What about the next one? And Let's see. Today, father is more irritated than useful. It's more irritated than usual. Okay. Yes, that's right. So checking the rules and also the syllables, two syllables. That's right. Next. Um, what is next? 
exercise six, 60 is easier. What? E exercise? Easier. Easier. Cambia el I, E, E. Six, 16. 16. Six, exercise 60 is easier than exercise 50. 15. Yes, that would be easier. And, and in Y, we eliminate Y and we add ER. I play plus ER. Okay. That's the way, and also the next one in 18. Prevention is better than cure. Better than cure. Better than, better yes. Than. Better because it's an irregular adjective. That's excellent. And next. Your argument is more than Robert. Is is um, sorry? More convincing. More convincing. More, more convincing. Convincing. It's more convincing. Okay. And the last one. At home, more is always easier. More time father. Is easier. Okay. Easier. Yes. That's correct. Okay, so I know that you are more than ready for those exercises. And uh, congratulations for the work done. I mean, we have practice. I know that for some of us could be easy because we know the rules, but it's not bad to take uh, this time to practice. Okay, so thank you so much, guys. No se les olvide completar eh, la parte tres y el midterm eh, este día, completenlo para que se pueda actualizar eh, las notas que ustedes van realizando. Entonces, eh, ya vimos cómo está la estructura y pues solo se quedarían pues culminando lo que es el midterm y la parte 3 para que el siguiente semana nos quede ya la parte 4 y la siguiente semana la parte 5 para ir culminando este módulo. Entonces, eh, no se les olvide completarlo y sobre todo pues estar activo siempre en nuestros ejercicios, ¿ok? Así que gracias a todos. Thank you so much. Thank Have you. a beautiful Thank you. night. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Bye bye. You too. Bye bye. Bye. Have a good time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night.